Today we will discuss about preparation of M nitro aniline. This M nitro aniline is a yellow crystalline compound which is prepared by reduction of M dinitro benzene. So here we are using chemicals like sodium sulfide sticks NHSO3. Sodium sulfide and NHCO3 are mixed together to form NASH which is a reducing agent. Thus to the sodium sulfide 50 ml distilled water is, is added and stirred well. Then add 6 gram of NHCO3 pinch by pinch so that that Na2S means sodium sulfide will be converted into NaSH. We have to keep it in ice bath so that it will be converted into NaSH. Then we have to add to the reaction mixture methanol. By adding methanol, the Na2CO3 formed as a byproduct will be separate out because Na2CO3 is not dissolved in methanol or aqueous methanol solution. So after stirring for 10 minutes, we have to stop the stirring and allow to stand the reaction mixture. So here we have to filter it. So after filtration, we will get the residue and filtrate. We have to discard the residue which contains Na2CO3. So whatever filtrate we are getting, it contains NaSH which can be used as a reducing agent for the reduction of m dinitrobenzene to get our product m nitro aniline. Now in a 3 naked round bottom flask, take 6 gram of m dinitrobenzene which is a reactant. To this add 50 ml methanol as a solvent. Now stir the reaction mixture so that M, nitro, M dinitrobenzene will be diso getting dissolved. To the solution of M dinitrobenzene, heat it up to the reflux temperature and then add slowly the reducing agent that is NaSH sodium hydrogen sulfide solution slowly drop by drop and now the reaction has started nitro group is going to be converted it is going to be reduced to NH2 so here you can see addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen is nothing but the reduction then after complete addition of NSH you have to heat the reaction mixture 20 minutes more so that to complete the reaction then excess of methanol was distilled out by distillation because here we have used near about 100 ml methanol so that distilled methanol we will be separated then the concentrated reaction mixture you have to pour on ice cold water so that we will get the precipitate of M nitro aniline. So stir vigorously so that crude solid M nitro aniline will be obtained as a precipitate. Now filter the product by using vacuum filtration or then wash the product with water to remove the impurities. After washing, dry it and recrystallize the product from methanol to get the crystals which are shiny yellow crystals. Now record the yield and melting point of the product. We have to use this formula that is 1 mole of M dinitrobenzene is equal to 1 mole of M nitro aniline. So weight of crude product we have to put 
in this calculation and record the results so we have to record the theoretical yield in this calculation and record the results so we have to record the theoretical yield practical yield and melting point thanks